Hello, good day uh, in connection of our subject for the information system, which is introduction to computer or introduction to computing. Decided to create short discussion with regards in the subject. So, it's a lot of you here requested to have at least a short discussion, a short clarification in order us to understand what is the subject all about, especially on our reference the PDF that I posted on our web application or in our mobile application which is the Edmodo so decided to create short discussion for this subject so as you notice if we try to check our activities and quizzes for this subject we are already in the chapter 2 I think we are in the chapter 2 uh, that is 2.2, if I'm not mistaken. Uh, no, 2.1, which is the procedural programming. So as I read the reference, as I read your PDF file, needs to explain, needs to, to have a clarification with the subject. Because, to tell you honestly, uh, we have a... Uh, what we call this one, uh, we have a hands-on for this subject. Okay, so later on, I'll be going to show you what will be the process in order you to understand it one, or what will be the application, or what will be the process in order you to learn how to code this subject. But for now, uh, let me explain to you the chapter one okay so this is our reference so let me explain to you the chapter one which is the introduction to computing so if i will be going to discuss this one if i'll be going to explain this one to you uh, that will be base muna in our activity so as what i've said uh, only those important details, those important words lang ang ibibigay ko sa inyo para hindi masyado tayong mahirapan sa pag hindi ng subject na okay? So, if I'll be going to show you our activity. For activity 1, we have the intro introduction to computing. As you notice, I created a learning activity notice you will be going to use the pdf of this subject you already downloaded it much better if you downloaded it as you listen or as you view this video uh, number two using your pdf only open and read the page 3 to 15 if you want to scan that one now you may then these are the important details as you notice if you try to read the page 3 to 15 we have a lot of definition there, important details to cover up the chapter 1 for the introduction to computing. Okay, the first is we have defined computing. Let me explain to you this one. We have uh, computing. Uh, computing, what is computing? If you ask a dozen different computer scientists, you likely get a dozen different answers. It's broadcast level, computing is defined as anything that involves computers in some way from designing the physical components that make up a single device to designing massive system like internet that use compiling principle. In other words, computing is a massive field that touches almost every corner of modern society in some way with such a massive domain. Okay? If you say word computing, computing is not only intended for computers. So if you try to understand the word computing, 
actually we can use that one in mathematics diba so if we try to compute numbers so that is an example of computing but since that this subject is all about computers this is in the field of information technology computer science also in your course which is the information system or the bachelor science in information system so we'll be going to apply the word computing in modern computers nowadays okay so unfortunately uh, if we try to to base on our activity that i created so next is after i after we define the computing so next is what are the difference between the line of code and program but before we'll be going to proceed that one introduction to computing class is not only all about the the what we call this one it's not only all about the programming it's also all about the computers if you try to read my introduction for this subject so we have this course using both lectures and laboratory practice introduces in the students in basic concept of hardware and so far i i think you're already familiar with that what is computer hardware and computer software networking computer security programming database e-commerce decision support system and other emerging technologies so monash so yan ang um, inain i yan ang ano ibig sabihin ng subject na ito okay so I just want you to know, my dear students, that this subject will be going to focus on programming. Okay, so I just want you to know in advance that this subject is all about the introduction to programming. And we have a lot of process when it comes in creating the program. A lot. Uh, that is we call the programming languages. So I decided to start with the programming languages which is we call c++ programming again c++ programming so kindly research that one in advance if you have so we'll be going to focus that one in order to cover up this subject in order to cover up this reference okay so for that let's proceed i hope you already familiar if you already know na what is this subject or what is the computing all about and what will be what will be the programming languages that we will be going to focus so next is what are the difference between the line of codes and program okay if we say line of codes my dear students if you'll be going if i'll be going to show this one to you uh that is under in page so under page four under number two programming vocabulary so directly if i'll be going to explain this one to you a line of code is generally a single command very often we talk in terms of individual line of codes and what each line does in practice we'll find a single line called actually set of sequence of lots of other commands but generally a single line of code is the smallest unit we're interested in dealing with at this stage so if i'll be going to show you what is a line of Oh, this is an example of a line of code uh, let me show you this one to you i'm going to open a visual studio code. honestly my dear students we have a lot of we have a lot of application or software in order us to create a C++ programming. Save this one to you. Okay. So this is an example of a C++ programming. Okay. So a line of code, my dear student, these are an example of a line of code. Yang naka-highlight. That is a line of code. Okay. Okay. As you notice, na siya yung mga guide numbers at the right side. That is an example of a line of code. Let me uh, go back to the definition. So, as you notice in this definition, a line of code is the smallest unit we're interested in dealing with this stage. Okay, in every program, in every code that you will be going to create, my dear student, 
there are a line of code. The question is, sir, meron po bang limitation sa pag-create ng line of code? Umaabot ba ito ng 1,000 lines? Umaabot ba ito ng 900 lines? 500 lines? Yes, depende po yan sa pag-create ng inyong code. Okay? I just want you to know, my dear student, that if you will be going to create a C++ programming, let me share it. Let me show you, sir. To you, wait, wait. Uh, that is C++ checker, I think. Just wait for a while. Okay, this one. So we'll be going to use this web application, which is we call uh, online C++ compiler. So this kind of web application, my dear student, will guide you on how to check your program in C++, and also will guide you on how you will be going to set your line of codes in the C++ programming. Okay? So, ang maganda lang dito, my dear student, is i-identify niya kung saan yung wrong, kung saan yung correct dito. At the same time, makikita niyo kung ano ang kalalabasan ng code nito if you will be going to create this code. I think this will be on the chapter 2. We'll be going to explain this one to you how to create or how to use those codes, basic codes in the C++ programming. But for now, let's proceed. Okay. So later on, my dear student, as we'll be going to upload this one to you, below in the description of this video, kindly check the description below in order you to use or go directly in this link. Okay. I'll be going to share a link below. In this description or in this uh, video okay, let's proceed so next is we have a program okay, for our purposes is a collection of a lines of code that serves one or more overall function in short major student as you create a line of code there will be a program okay, another term of a program major student that is we call source code okay i think you're already familiar with that in every web application, my dear student, in every process of our computer, in every process that we will be going to use even a single move of our mouse, even a single letter that we will be going to push on your keyboard, that is created by a line of code and created by a program. A lot of programming languages, a lot of source code that is used for that in order to create that kind of process okay another example of that is we have the calculator okay the calculator my dear student uh ginawa po yan gamit po ang isang program or a source code okay gamit po ang line of code again my dear student uh, c++ is not only a programming languages we have a lot of programming languages so will that i'll be i will not be going to explain that one to you but we'll be going to focus on in one programming languages para hindi kayo ma ito okay so program so if i'll be going to show that one to you this is the program this one okay yan program po yan yung highlight ko lahat ito yung line of code ito po yung program so kumbaga sa loob ng line of code niyo my dear students sa loob ng line of code nyo dito from 1 to 9 okay, meron pong nakalagay dyan ng mga program or source code. Okay, ito po yung ginagamit natin for the C++ in order nyo, in order na makakreate kayo ng program. So ito po yung mga source code. Okay? So next is we have uh, define input and output. 
easy lang po kung ano po yung input and output. Same at page 4. In the input output after in the program and code. Uh, nearly a program we write is also largely defined by its relationship with its input and its output. So input is anything that we input in the program for it to work on. And output is what the program give us in return. Okay, so if you say input, my dear student, if you will be going to type a code, this one, you will be going to create a code, this one, tawag na po dyan is yung input. Okay, clear ko muna to. Pag gusto nyo makita yung, yung kalabasan or resulta or display ng program na ito, as I click the run, that is the output. Okay, parang sa calculator lang po yan, my dear student. Ito. Okay, so sa pag-type nyo ng 1, yan ay isang input plus another input naman, sorry. Another input na po yan. Then another input na, another input na po ulit para makagawa tayo ng computation or computing. Then another input. So yung answer dyan, yan ang tinatawag natin ni na output. So saan dito ulit yung input? Yung input is yung 1. Yung number 1. Tapos yung operator natin which is plus sign. Then another 1 number. And then the equal sign another operator or uh, arithmetic operator. It is the equal sign. And then as we click the equal sign, so meron tayong result na nito. Okay? So yan po ang output. So kumbaga, in short, yung input, yung, yung binibigay yung mga direction in order na makakreate tayo ng output. Parang nagsusulat lang po yan, my dear student. Yung, yung input nyo is yung ballpen nyo. Kapag nakapagsulat na kayo, kapag meron na kayong nakita dyan sa pagsulat nyo, yun ang inyong output. Okay? So that is a simple, uh, that is one of the simple uh, example in order you to understand what is the difference between the input and output. Again, in programming, so ito po yung in-input nyo na code. Tapos, yung output yun ang resulta. So, dito sa right side. Okay. So, next is we have... Okay, so hindi ko na to explain kasi same lang po ito eh. Kung ano yung input. So, ginawa ko lang easy yung explanation para madali nyo lang maintindihan what are the difference between the input and I hope you understand that one. So, next, uh, we have the identify and define the two things when, code, when coding. Saan ba yan? Identify the two things. Things. I think if I'm not mistaken, that is compiling. Okay, so compiling is like uh, we have two things in order to define the programming. So compiling and running. If we try to com compile, what is compiling? So it's like a reading over code and looking for errors in the way we written. Another example of compiling, my dear student, is debugging. So yun po yun. Ito po kasi yun eh. Yung explanation po kasi kung mapofocus muna tayo sa compiling, if I'll be going to show this one to you. Okay. Sa pag-create nyo lang ng code, tinatawag na po yan na compiling. Okay. Sa pag-run nyo lang, tinatawag na yan na pag-comply. So therefore, hindi natin makikita dito kung ano talaga ang proseso sa compiling. Sa, meron talagang nangyayari deep inside nito sa code. Okay. Later uh, in the chapter 12, we're going to explain to one to you what is actually the exact process. What is the reason why bakit lumabas itong hello world dito sa right side, dito sa output area. Okay. So as you click that one, meron compiling na po ang tawag dyan. At the same time, kung chinecheck nyo, kung ginagawa nyo yan, chinecheck nyo kung saan ba ang correct dito, saan ba ang wrong dito, tinatawag na po din yung compiling. Okay. Next is we have the executing. Executing my dear student in our C++ programming using this web application which is the programmes. Okay. So as you click the run, that is the execution. Kumbaga, 
ginagawa lang po yan, pinupost nyo po yan para ma-execute kung ano talaga ang output galing sa input na ginawa nyo na code. Okay? So, I hope you understand that one. Okay? Kung medyo nabibilisan lang kayo, may students, sa mga explanation ko, pwede nyo i-post, pwede nyo i-rewind, post, check nyo po yung definition dyan sa 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 reference nyo, try to check that one, try to double check that one, try to review or to compare my video to your reference. Okay, let's proceed. Next is we have the what is programming languages. Okay, I already explained to you what is programming languages, but let's go through with it using this uh, reference. Okay, programming languages. So, uh, locked out tayo. The same, ta uh, the, the same is true for programming. You must have a language which is to write just a different uh, languages have different syntax, different vocabularies, different structures, so also different programming languages have different syntax, different vocabularies, and different structures. I just want you to know, my dear student, that hindi po lahat ng programming languages is pareha ng definition, pareha ng output, pareha ang structure, pareha ang source code, okay, or line of code, or coding, hindi po lahat. Kung papasok tayo sa ibang aspeto ng programming languages, uh, like for example, Java na po yung gagawin natin, I hope uh, kita ko dito yung Java. Ayat ang internet connection ko. Ah. Okay. Try natin i-compare ha. Compare natin. Okay. Java programming lang uh, programming languages may do student. Uh, Java is a kind of a programming languages, an example of a programming languages. As you notice my dear student, if we try to compare, actually pareha lang po ito ng output. If I try to run this one, hello world din ang lalabas. If I try to run the the program for the C++, pareha lang po ang nilalabasan. Pero, if you try to compare the program, try natin i-compare yung program natin, yung source code natin or line of code natin, hindi sila pareha, pero pareha lang po yung output. So, yun ang ibig sabihin kanina sa definition about programming languages. Again, my dear students, we have a lot of programming languages. Okay? Marami po tayong programming languages na pwede natin gamitin sa pag-create ng program. So, depende po yan kung ano po yung gusto, na, gusto natin na gamitin in a real world sa pag-create na natin ng program. So, kung mag-create kayo ng, ng own yung program, uh, program, so, depende na po yan sa inyo kung saan kayo komportable. Okay? So, lahat po may dito din is magaganda ang mga programming languages. Again ha, Hindi po lahat ng programming languages is uh, is pareha. Okay? Hindi big sabihin na kung C++ yung ginamit nyo, pag magpo-proceed na kayo sa Java, yun ito lang din yung gagawin, gagamitin nyo na kod. No, hindi. Iba na po ang gagawin. Okay? Disregard lang po natin to ha. C++ ay na po focus. Ipinakita lang ko po sa inyo kung ano talaga ang difference ng ibang programming languages since medyo uh, since nag nagfo-focus tayo sa C++ programming so ano talaga ang difference kung pupunta tayo sa ibang programming languages so ito yung difference pareha tayo ng output kung irara natin to kung i-compile natin to kung i-execute natin to based sa definition ng ating reference same sila pero kung pupunta na po tayo sa loob ng definition kung ano talaga ang programming languages ang ginawa ginamit natin or yung source code iba na okay so, for now, C++ muna. Don't worry, my dear student. Uh, to give you a hint, or to give you an easter egg, char, uh, preparation po para lang po sa, pa, para lang po sa pag-proceed next sa ibang subject. Hmm. C++ programming is a great uh, starting point for the programming, for the beginners. Okay? Great starting point na po ito. Dito ko po natutunan lahat Dito ko pong natutunan hat kung ano yung fundamentals ng programming. Kung ano talaga yung 
uh, ibig sabihin na to. Later on, I'll be going to explain this that one to you sa pag-proceed na natin sa ibang chapter. Okay, let's proceed. Okay. Ang nagpas na yata tayo, ah. nasa 25 minutes na po tayo. So, next is we have Okay, what are the difference between console and graphical or GUI or GUI? Okay, this one. Okay, so what are the difference between the console and graphical programming? So, kung in short, yung console programming po, my dear student, is ginagamit lang is yung text. Okay, sa paggawa ng, sa paggawa ng code is hard coding or we say puro lang po text file tanan ang ginagawa nyo sa pagrun nyo po sa program in order nyo makita ko anong resulta ng in-input nyo ng mga codes yan ang output is text pa rin yun ay example of console programming again console programming is a form of full text or a hard code text between sa input and output both input and output I mean okay gawa nyo ang code gamit lang ang text tapos pag run nyo pag execute nyo is text parang yung nakikita nyo graphical user inter oh no console programming po ang tawag dyan what if kung sa console programming na po okay so console programming my dear student let me show you an example of a graphical user interface an example of a graphical user interface, my, dear, my student, this is an example of a graphical user interface. Or GUI, in other words. Yung graphical user interface po, my dear student, is nagagamit na po yun ng mga graphics na may text box, or combo box, okay, may button na po. Okay, so if I try to log in on this one, Ito po yung kinalabasan ng graphical user interface. In order you to understand what is a graphical user interface, yung pumupunta kayo sa department store, tapos yung may binili na kayo na item, di ba pumupunta kayo sa cashier? As you notice, is in-scan nila yung barcode, tapos lalabas doon sa monitor. Yun ay isang pinakamalaking example ng graphical user interface. Parang ganito lang po yun to yun. Okay? So, he, it's a form of a text. Meron siyang mga text dito, pero pinapagana ang program gapit, gamit ang mga forms, gamit ang mga mga images, gamit ang mga buttons. That is an example of a graphical user interface. Okay? Again, kung sasabihin natin is console programming, uh, full text siya. Ginawa niyo program full text. Tapos yung output is text pa rin. Pero pag Pag doon na po tayo sa graphical user interface or GUI, ginawa yung program, medyo meron siyang text. Pero gumagamit siya ng forms, gumagamit siya ng images, gumagamit siya ng text box, gumagamit siya ng buttons. Tapos pag i-run na nyo or execute na yung program nyo sa graphical user interface, uh, meron ng form ang lumabas, meron ng image, kagaya ng pinakita ko sa inyo kanina. That is an example of a graphical user interface. So, for now, since meron nandito tayo, again, sa introduction ng computer, introduction programming, sa console programming lang po tayo. Ang katanungan ngayon, sir, meron po ba kaming matutunan dyan sa console programming before kami po proceed sa graphical user interface? Yes, meron po kayong matutunan. As what I said a while ago, this is a great starting point or a great example in order you to understand what is a console programming and kung proceed na kayo sa graphical user interface, agad nyong maiintindihan kung ano talaga ang difference nila. Okay, ano talaga ang gamit ito? Bakit ito ang naging introduction? Okay? So, dito talaga magsisimula lahat. Next. Next is we have uh, last, uh, define and identify the five units of computing. Okay? na tayong matapos. 5 units of computing. So, if we try to scan the reference. 5 units. 5 units. Taas na yata yung 5 units natin. Ha? Dito. Oops. Parang lagpas tayo. So, sa 5 units na 
computing versus we have the basics uh, basic so if you will be going to create your own program so basic po talaga sa basic lang po sa basic po talaga tayo na start okay so pwede po bang mag proceed sa may katanungan kasi um, dati kong tinuturuan uh, so pwede po bang mag proceed directly sa graphical user interface without the console programming yes pwede po but before you will be going to learn that one dapat sa console programming or dapat sa graphical user interface alam nyo na alam nyo muna kung ano yung mga basic ano yung mga fundamentals inside sa graphical user interface okay. yun talaga yung starting point eh, di ba? kung gusto nyo matuto yun talaga tayo sa basic hindi po talaga mangyayari yun na pupunta tayo doon, doon sa advanced na proseso kung hindi tayo dadaan sa basics yun ang tinatawag natin na fundamentals next is we have the procedural programming sa procedural programming uh, sa basic approach codes uh, writing sequence of commands that are run by computer in specified order sa procedural programming kasi my dear students uh, it talks about na po yan sa mga variables it talks about na po yan sa mga data types it talks about na po yan sa mga mga execution kung ano po yung mga basic na mga gamitin natin na mga variables in order nga makuha natin yung mga computation so yun ang um, short lang po na definition about procedural program next is we have the control structures i just want you to know my dear students that we have an exact process when it, uh, when it comes in defining the control structures first is we have the sequence programming Second is we have the repetition structures. Third one is we have the decision structure. We meron po tayong tatlo. Uh, sequence, we have repetition, and we have also the, the decision structure. If we say sequence, meron po talagang exact na processor, exact sequence sa pag-create ng pro. Hindi po talaga pwede like for example ito hindi po talaga pwede na ito si return 0 dito ilagay natin sa ibaba tapos ito yung si number include i stream or the hashtag num, uh, include i stream ilagay natin dito sa ibaba hindi po yan pwede sa pag create natin ng program meron po talagang exact na structure or sequence structure okay parang nagpapalo lang po yan ng instructions eh bawal kayong proceed sa second structure pag hindi nyo natapos yung yung unang instructions next is we have the data structures data structure my dear student usually um, it's all about strings po yan uh, marami po talaga yung mga array that is an example of a data structures okay, hindi muna natin yung i-explain kung ano po yan but usually yung data structures is naka naka base po talaga yan sa equivalent ng variables na ginagamit natin. Usually, makikita natin yan sa mga data types. Usually, makikita din natin yung data structures sa mga arrays. Kaya, you hope uh, makakover up natin yan sa ating subject. Kung ano talaga yung data structures. Last one is we have the objects and algorithms. So, same lang po yung unit 5. Yung ikalima dito sa units ng ang uh, introduction to computing same lang po yan sa control structures the objects and algorithms before you are going to create a program edition, meron talaga tayong algorithm kung bagay yung algorithm usually naririnig natin yan sa mathematics di ba so yung algorithm pwede din natin yung ma-apply dito sa ating course or pwede natin yung yung ma-apply dito sa subject so, as you created your sequence of your program, as you created the, the process of your, program, of your program, that is an example of uh, algorithm. Okay, kumbaga, may formula kayo, may, may, may proseso kayo, may sequence kayong ginagamit, may proseso kayong ginagamit sa pag-create ng program nyo, that is an example of algorithm. So, I hope, my dear student, you understand my discussion with regards in this chapter. So, if you have some clarification or comments, 
just leave a comment below stay tuned for the next discussion which is the chapter 2 na. it's about programming na po okay so good day once again good day and have a nice day